Since the days of Dolari and Bobby Simpson. We really had a good opening batting duo and Ian Chappell was first to get most of those times. And that's the one he gets into trouble on. Whether to go for the hook shot or whether to defend. Good delivery that from Andy Roberts. Just going with it. Didn't know exactly where it went. Beautiful delivery that one from Andy Roberts. In fact, I'd go so far as to say he didn't have the slightest idea where it went, Keith. It's gone. A good catch, a good delivery too from Andy Roberts. Greenwich at second slip. And a fine catch out Australia now. Two for 26. Ian Chappell caught Greenwich, bowled Roberts for two. Laird is on 18. Greenwich just in the top left-hand corner of your picture. Listen, what good bowling by Andy Roberts. That unsettling ball, the previous one, and that one then tentatively Ian Chappell just pushing at it, getting the edge, and a good catch by Gordon Greenwich. And a great bowling by Andy Roberts. Ian Chappell just playing from the crease, getting an edge, and a pretty straightforward catch there for... A joyful Gordon Greenwich. So Australia in trouble now. Two for 26. And he's gone. First ball. Roberts is on a hat trick. Great bowling from the West Indian speedster. That was a perfectly pitched bouncer. The chapel's gone with successive balls. Andy Roberts has done it for the West Indies. And what delight there is in the faces of all the field inside. So Andy Roberts now on a hat trick. And what a great delivery that one is. Ball similar to the one that got Ian Chappell out. Greg Chappell fending it off. A nice, simple catch for Joel Garner in the gully. And there's the great Sir Donald Bradman. Looks as if he's wearing a West Indies. Uh, touring tie there. That's certainly the colours of the West Indies tie. And I assume that uh, he would have had uh, many given to him over the years. He's talking there to Peter Lush, the public re relations uh, officer for the Test and County Cricket Board in England. The last hat-trick in Adelaide was Lance Gibbs. In fact, I stood at the other end and watched it. No better place to be when there's a hat-trick on. Andy Roberts now. The last ball of his sixth over. No field change. Oh, what a good ball. And a little half smile left from Max O'Connell. Always appreciative of good bowling. Indeed, that was. Two for 12 in six overs, one maiden.